I sometimes just like to put a little feed in, fill in, what I'm trying to say, lead in. <laughs> a little lead in uh, video, just before I talk. But uh, let's get right at it. All right, where am I? Hi, there I am. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Um, it's a good, a good day to kind of stop, think, you know, what you have, where you've gone, <laughs> where you want to go. But uh, yeah, most of all, just really to just say thank you to um, everyone that got you this far. I give thanks. Uh, that's what it is to me, anyways. I, uh, I had Thanksgiving yesterday with my family, uh, brother to be specific, and his family, and uh, I thanked them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm still thanking them. Had some leftovers uh, that were given to me. I uh, ate a little bit more of those that today, and I'll probably finish it off for supper when I'm through with this and uh, doing what I'm out to do. Um, but thinking about my brother and, and giving thanks, I, I got to thank him for... I think a pretty good little saying. I, uh, at that point, traveled 5,000 kilometers across Canada. It's, even today, it's kind of hard to go, wow, yeah, I really did that. Um, and he kept asking me questions <laughs> about the trip. He doesn't ask so much more now, but I, I often wish he would, because uh, then I could ask him a little bit more questions about his travels. Um, that said, uh, he asked me questions like, oh, you must have seen a lot out there. Well, yeah, I did. You know, I think he was waiting for some kind of start point for me to give this big profound statement. Well, you must have really, you know, discovered yourself. I'm like, well, yeah, I discovered a lot out there. You know, and he's still kind of waiting for that, that one thing to kind of go, oh, yeah, okay. There is something more uh, about my brother uh, that I don't know. Um, I want to find out. But he kept prying and pushing, and I, I couldn't give him an answer that he was satisfied with until I finally said, Look, Chris, the moment I think I find myself, I find myself in another place. Um, because you would think after 5,000 kilometers of traveling, <laughs> that would be it for a person. How much more could they see or learn? Um, yet I did <laughs> well over 6,000 kilometers more after that uh, on walking across Canada. But yeah, I, I discovered a lot of things and I certainly discovered myself out there. I found myself out there. Um, but it seemed every time I moved. I found myself in another location. It was another day. It was another entirely different experience. I often say this to people as I talk, <laughs> to try to give them understanding. You know, if I would have started March 27th or March 25th, that entire experience would have been totally different. Totally. I would have met different people, experienced different things. Uh, I may not have gone through the difficulties I did. It might have been a lot easier. Or it could have been much, much more difficult. And it might have broke me. Just on a different day. Just starting on a different day. Because every... <laughs> a day earlier or a day late... Uh, changes everything. Yeah. The moment I think I find myself, I find myself in another place. But, you know... The, with every saying I have, I almost have another saying to go right along with it. Um, you know, in that discovery, the land bent and folded me like in the makings of a sword. And the people I met gave me the materials to withstand the impact. You know, meeting people, uh, conquering that land. You know, the land didn't care. The coldest, hottest, whatever, it didn't care. It was, it was mean, it was gentle. It was hot-headed and it chilled you to the bone and uh, sometimes I was shivering in my own sweat you know often I was shivering in my own sweat so 
you know, and that's where I found myself. Uh, when I talk about shivering in my own sweat as it jumps out into my head, I found myself uh, summer, August, uh, along the shores of Lake Superior. That's when I was shivering in my own sweat, going up and down and up and down and up and down these hills, building up sweat. But it, it, the cold air coming off uh, Lake Superior just chilled me. But it is that. Um, but that's life. You know, uh, certainly there were times when, like, Yorkton. Um, I came out of Edmonton. I had the flu there. Uh, <laughs> I raced out of Edmonton and did 60 kilometers in one day to try to make up time. Um, ended up <laughs> almost losing my heel <laughs> completely. And I'm not talking about off my boot. I'm talking skin off my heel. Uh, I had about the size of a, well, I, I can't even make it that big. Uh, but I, I would say maybe the size of a, a toonie, not a loony, but a toonie. Uh, skin just, it fell off. <laughs> it's from a, uh, a water blister. Um, but the next day, I did, I think, 28 kilometers till I could find a pharmacy. Um, and I think I, <laughs> I splurged for a cab uh, from a motel to take me to that pharmacy. So I, because I was done at that point. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I put on some, uh, that artificial skin that you can buy there. And I head out the next day and I, I can't even remember how many kilometers I did, but I, I think it was back to full throttle. Um, but I, I have a saying, if you hang your head at your failings, you'll never see success on the horizon. Uh, sometimes your failings are from other people uh, who have very noisy cars when you're trying to do a video vlog. Uh, but yeah, you know, you can't hang your head at it. I'm, I'm hoping uh, by the end this will be another uh, successful vlog. Um, even if only five people see it or 10. Um, not a lot of people do see these vlogs, but they're there. They're there. Uh, and they're there for, they're, for anyone that wants to see them and hopefully motivate them to not hang their head and uh, stick their chin up and, uh, you know, look at the horizon and see what's over it. Even um, <laughs> myself. Yeah. Behind me, uh, is 50 and a half years. Ahead of me, I would like to see another 50 and a half years. Um, I don't know. It depends on how I live my life. Uh, maybe some of that's already dictated for me. Uh, but uh, combined with what's behind me and what's ahead of me, I, you know, that would put me at 100, 101 years. <laughs> It'd be great. Uh, my goal is 100 years. <laughs> A little overachiever sometimes and I'm hoping I <laughs> sorry I just see my friend the raven get up in the tree I don't can we where are you hiding it from there? oh yeah there he is oh dead center there you can't be building a nest already <laughs> playing with a stick anyways um, <laughs> even stuff like that kind of motivates me but yeah, uh, this, this vlog is going long. Um, as I do say, you know, let's see if I can conquer another 50 years would be spectacular. Hopefully I'm gonna be as physical. <laughs> uh, an inspiration of mine was a fellow by the name Fajar Singh who was running marathons at the age of 100. Started, started in his 80s. <laughs> so you never know. But it's that will to do it, to uh, try to <laughs> do as much as you can. Um, throughout your life uh, yeah <laughs> moves a person but um, you know those pathways pathways you choose um, you know finding the nature of one's awakening path you know that's I, I do I live that religiously you know <laughs> what is the nature of my path you know how do I find it well again Actually, another saying just jumped into my head, so I'll say it too. Discovering what makes you important will be your most important discovery. And uh, I guess you can't just sit on a rock uh, where you are, uh, looking at uh, dying leaves behind you, or 
even worse sitting in your own apartment or <laughs> house or trailer or tent or whatever um, and expect to discover too much <laughs> you'll discover something about yourself um, but uh, there's so much more to discover than I guess the walls that contain you and my motto is <laughs> to uh, break down those walls to overcome the obstacles to push back the walls and surpass what handicaps so well those are motivating words <laughs> let's get beyond these dying leaves um, and you know you, you have obstacles ahead as I said overcoming the obstacles um, you know pushing back the walls um, breaking down the barriers and surpassing what handicaps you know because I we all We have a limited time ourselves uh, to do what we feel must be done in our lives. Uh, so, you know, go and conquer. You know, <laughs> there certainly are a lot of obstacles in, um, in our way. <laughs> the moment I think I find myself, I'll find myself in another place. Well, you know, we're all, I guess, going to be here someday. Maybe not this particular spot, uh, but uh, you know, there, there's at least one person, two people here that share my same last name. So, I'll have my place. <laughs> but while I'm living, uh, there's, there's some paths. There's definitely pathways that you can take that can lead you here. It also leads you away from here <laughs> to flowers, <laughs> to waving Canadian flags, uh, ships in the harbor. You know, if you go a little further out that harbor, and by the way, my bedroom window looks straight out there. <laughs> out beyond there is the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, Beyond those trees is the downtown Halifax core. But yeah. <laughs> Below the sun is McDonald Bridge that can take you across the harbor. And what I'm trying to say is, you know, you can move away from a lot and you can move towards a lot. And it's up to you just to put one leg after another. Um, I'm coming up. <laughs> well, no, actually I just passed. <laughs> 35 years of uh, <sighs> since my accident where I almost lost my leg so here I am <laughs> 35 years over 35 years later still moving and going down pathways <laughs> you know eh, some those pathways lead into the shadows and there there's uncertainty of course so you keep moving <laughs> so here are my raven chattering in the back um, there's ways up and out of the shadows and the darkness. <laughs> you know, my <laughs> sunshine. <laughs> Always look up. But uh, a lot of stairs I've climbed and I've taken a lot of steps. And it's still amazing that I can. You know, it really is. Uh, <laughs> get the heart. I'll probably be out here for an hour or so. But, you know, there's uh, Halifax there. <laughs> yeah. Here's the top of the stairs. Beautiful day in October. But think about that. Pathways that lead you to streets, streets that lead you to roads, roads that lead you to highways. Yeah. But yeah. If you hang your head at your failings, you'll never see success on the horizon. And you're missing out on a lot of things.
had a tiger tell me once. Hmm. Stay away from seagulls. No. <laughs> the tiger said. What is it? <laughs> what did he say? Uh, attack with all your strength. That which you're able to capture. Attack with all your strength. That in which you're able to capture. Well, there's a lot you can capture. Anyways, cheers, folks, and hope our pandemic will be ending shortly so I can go out, start giving hugs, <laughs> shaking people's hands, high five, slaps on the backs, pump the fist, uh, and we'll go at it. Because I know, the more we move, the more we move others. Cheers, folks. And, uh, keep looking towards the sun sometimes. Just don't keep your eyes too wide open. <laughs> it might blind you.